usually it's the first thing that I do. Do laps in the morning and uh, I'm going to do three this morning. Run with the dogs. Alright, now that the flaps are done, time to get on some gear and practice my proper really loads with the rifle. Dry fire, part timer, half a second from finger straighten off the trigger to firing, four second delay, done 25 times. I do this uh, four times a day for a total of 100 reps. Not doing it at uh, a ridiculously fast speed, just uh, focusing on technique. Now we move into the actual PT and the first thing I'm going to be doing is 10 pound weight around my hands with 550 cord holding my pistol in an aim position with a good stance <clears throat> for you know you can decide however long you want to aim it but I'm going to go for a minute and 15 seconds and I'm going to have to watch this timer <clears throat> and now we'll go ahead and do it at 15 seconds, aim at a small point and hold it there and then rest for two minutes and I'm going to do this for a total of six sets. So yeah, this is going to be fun. So this works the shoulders and it basically helps you be able to aim in <clears throat> for longer and keep it more stable. So I point at something very small, maybe something the size of a dime that's three to five yards away and try to keep your sight on it. But I worked up to 10 pounds before I was just holding a canteen on there for, for a minute. But now I got a 10 pound weight, so build shoulder strength. minute 30 that's one minute 15 seconds and I can relax for a little bit for two minutes so three minutes and 30 seconds is when I'll start again as I said I'm going to be doing this six times and isometric uh, tension and especially resisting weight is a very good way of building muscle especially in shoulders and areas where you're going to actually have to uh, you know, hold something steady like a rifle or a pistol. Uh, if you're doing this with a rifle, find the center of gravity for that uh, weapon system and dangle a weight off there and try to hold it in position while keeping tension in your shoulder. Hell of a workout. If you're going to be performing this exercise, I recommend that you use uh, gloves like these pilot gloves actually work pretty well. Wrap a t-shirt around your wrist or whatever. I wouldn't really hang hang it off uh, off the pistol necessarily. You can, but uh, you know it's up to you but uh, it can end up putting you know friction in uh, different parts of your hand and uh, working things that don't really need to be worked so much it's more the shoulders we're targeting next exercise is going to require 
the carrier with both plates. This is going to be about 15 pounds. I got loaded uh, pistol mags in here. So uh, this one's going to be burpees. I'm going to do 10 proper ones. It's going to be slow to, to going down. So the eccentrics are going to be concentrated and slow to give me uh, give me slow uh, strength workout. And uh, going up, it's going to be a power lift and a jump. So I want to work on getting up really fast and controlling going down uh, so that I can get maximum work out of these burpees instead of just throwing myself on the floor and cheating that way. So having an extra weight will uh, help me get a better workout on my torso. So, you know, I'm going to be doing uh, 10 of these and I'm going to be doing them... Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll be doing five sets with a two minute rest. So, ten, uh, ten reps, five sets, two minute rest, and let's get going on it. I'm going to need that ten minute rest. Trying to work on power. This will help you with uh, getting better at going from the prone to uh, standing and being able to to rush and change positions really fast. So, good workout. All right, last set. Going slow down. Power up. That's five sets. Real pain in the butt. So now move on to the last thing, chin-ups. This last workout is going to be chin-ups. So it's going to be max amount with the carrier on. So adding, you know, an extra, you know, 15 or so pounds, probably more like 20 uh, with the loaded mags and everything. It's going to be maxing out five sets three minute rest. So the reason you're doing them five sets is the more sets you actually do, as long as you have a generous rest period, three minutes is recommended. Three to five minutes is actually recommended. But I'm trying to keep all my workouts within an hour. You want to keep everything uh, basically giving yourself a good a good rest and a lot of sets actually helps uh, get a better uh, better tear on the muscles so to speak. And you know, It'll help you gain muscle a little faster. So, let's go ahead and start. <clears throat> Alright, so eight. That's a good start. Now a three minute rest period. And I'm going to continue this for five sets. I apologize for this video being long, but I just wanted to take you guys through my daily morning routine. This can take about an hour, hour and a half nowadays. I've been training for a few months now, and my specific training is towards uh, training like a warrior rather than just an athlete. Of course, combining some athletic uh, training like body weight exercises with some weight like the chin-ups with a plate carrier. I'll even do it in full gear with uh, fully loaded magazines, everything I would actually take. Uh, for fighting and uh, I'm stressing it out that way so it can help build your forearms, it can help build your biceps like for me holding up a bull pup you can actually end up stressing out your biceps um, more than just your shoulders like with a conventional rifle uh, so it's still applicable to uh, training for my specific skill set needs and you know, uh, basically still training like a warrior and not just an athlete because they are two, mark, uh, uh, two different things and they, they do have a marked difference. So uh, burpees, for instance, helps you develop power and going down, uh, actually uh, going down slowly actually can help you uh, build strength and stuff like that because eccentrics actually do help you uh, build strength as well. Um, it's not just something you should be wasting, so make sure you're controlling going down just like on chin-ups too. That's your opportunity to get a good full muscle recruitment and a full muscle workout. So uh, with all that said, I appreciate you guys watching and I, uh, I encourage you to uh, at least have something that is similar. And I'll go over more exercises, but I do have a blog article about practical uh, a warrior a workouts and stuff like that or warrior exercises if you want to go ahead and read that I'll have it in the description below but I appreciate you guys watching and you guys have a good one